So um, most of you managed to do the, the, the simple sweep tasks. This one is a bit different, so I thought I'd show you how I went about doing this. Uh, it's again, it's just a sweep, but this time we've got it in, in sort of two planes. So when you think about how we're going to connect those two planes, how we would draw the path that the, the profile is going to be swept along. So let's have a look. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll draw the profile. So I'm going to just sketch that on the front plane. And I'm going to make it six millimeters in diameter. Now, next, I'm going to think about the the profile, sorry, the uh, the path that's going to come out the back. So on the uh, top plane, I'm going to come out and make sure that I grab or connect to that center point. If I don't do that, it's not going to have the right uh, dimension. I'm going to come out uh, 100 and I'm going to come out sideways. Now, I'm going to come out sideways. I'm only going to go 50 which is half and I'll explain to you um, shortly I, I'm going to put a uh, fillet there of uh, 10 it was so that's good so why have I only done half well as you'll see shortly it's going to be a lot easier if I model half of it and once I've done that I can use this tool here to mirror what I've produced so sometimes it's just if you've got to do um, a, a part that is symmetrical and it's quite fiddly and you're going to have to do that fiddly bit twice uh, do it once and mirror the whole thing rather than modeling it in, in completeness. So we have got uh, our back line there. We need an bit that's going to come sweeping up and go vertically. So I'm going to do that on the right hand plane. So it's all on in line with that right hand plane. So a sketch here and I need to pick up this line. So I'm going to get a construction line. So it's not a real one, it doesn't really pick it up. I'm going to project that line um, and now I can go back to my tangent arc turn the construction off otherwise the arc that I now draw will be a um, construction line which I don't want and I'm going to come up I'm going to put a dimension on that of 10 and I want to make sure that that is uh, maybe a better way of doing it but I want to make sure that's horizontal so I'm going to use this tool here constraint tools so lots of ways we can lock elements in our sketches um, so that they're horizontal vertical I've hit the wrong one tangent or what have you so we'll, we'll look at those as we as we go. So that's brought that back down horizontal. And we know in on shape that a sketch is constrained. So I can't move any part of it. It's locked because it's all sized. We know that when it goes black. So I need a vertical line now. And I've already lost 10 here for the, um, for the uh, what we're saying, red radius there. So I'm only going to go up 80. And the reason I'm going 80 is because I also need to have a radius at the top. So that would take 10 here. So 10 here and 10 and 80, that makes 100. So that's all I can do from this sketch. What I need to do now is come into this plane. I need to connect from there, draw my other arc and then go out halfway. Now, if you notice, this line is not on any plane apart from the right hand one. So if I want to draw in this in this plane, I would normally draw maybe on the front plane. If I do that though, it's going to be behind it. So I need to add an offset plane. So here's a plane tool. I need to click the front plane and I want to come um, and I want to go 10 because that's the size of my radius. And that's going to drop a plane, as you'll see, bang in line with that sketch. So I've now got a surface that is running through that sketch. So if I select that plane and draw a sketch, I can now select this little uh, point. I should be able to select that point and draw a sketch from it. Now, again, I need a curve. So I'm going to use a construction line, use a project. and I'm going to grab that and I'm going to project that line onto my um, sketch so that when I do my tangent line, it picks it up. Notice when you do a tangent, curve you just click on the you don't have to click on the end you click on the line it jumps to the end and it knows that that's the line that you want it wants you to be tangent to so we'll pop it up here dimension 10 again and if we come to the front I want that to be a vertical line this line so at this point here the blue one it still can be moved so it's blue it still can be moved I want it vertically above the center point and then I want another line going out here that is 40. So that will bring it to 
the same line as there. So that is my path. It's half of the whole thing, but that's all that I need. I've got my profile down here. I'm going to go back and along here, and I'm going to come up there. So let's try and sweep that sweep tool. Asking me for the sketch region to sweep the profile. Now I need to click on. If I just keep clicking, it will keep adding to this this box here. Click on the sweep path, and now I can select the bits of the sweep. So if I go this way. It doesn't automatically select the whole path. It's slightly annoying, um, but we can go in different directions like that. So um, we've got half of it done. What I need to do now then is to mirror it. So simply I need to hit mirror tool. Various options here come up. Um, if I was uh, just going to be selecting a feature, let's say I'd, I'd put a chamfer here and I wanted to have that chamfer somewhere else mirrored, I could select the feature tool and it would then just copy, mirror that little bit of the part. In this instance, we want to mirror the whole thing. So it's called a part mirror. Um, it's going to want the entity, so that's the whole thing. You notice when I go over it, it's not just picking a bit, it's picking the whole thing. Um, it's looking for a mirror plane, so that's the, 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 the spot, the face at which we're going to mirror it about. So we're going to click on that, because I could I could mirror more than one part, and I can select either that or that. They're in line, so that would be that would be, that would do it. Um, now at the moment we have got add. Sometimes it may default to new. Um, if we do that, it actually gives us a completely new part as one here. Look, separate part. Maybe that we want to have a left and a right, so we could do that. Um, I don't want that. I want it to be the same. So I'm going to go add part, and it's merging with part one. If I had more than one part, I'd need to tell it which one to do it. But for the most part, you're just going to be doing something similar to this. So add. I've got the part selected. I've got the face selected, and I've got a tick. You can see that join's gone. I've now got a single part. So I've managed to combine those sketches to create uh, that sort of 3D um, sweep. So I'm going round corners into different planes. So there's a task you'll be doing later on. I think it's a potato masher. And you'll need to think about how you can combine sketches in different planes to do it. It's a pig. So if you can then mirror it rather than doing the whole thing twice, then you're um, going to be saving yourself a lot of time. Okay, I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing your creations.